I'm attorney Gina Liguria, and we provide your family a peace of mind. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit more about a will and why a will may not be enough for you and your family. So imagine a scene out of Perry Mason. A loved one has died. The family dressed in black just after the funeral are all gathered in the attorney's office and they pull open the drawer, pull out the will and start reading who's in charge, who gets what, or who may be left out. Everybody's shocked and emotional, and the attorney then folds up that will and trots off to probate court because a will actually still has to go to court. I get asked that question all the time. Clients come to me and they say, well, I have a will, isn't that enough? And my answer is, it may not be. People are shocked to learn that a will still has to go to court. You are still tasked with being in a probate court where a judge gets to interpret your wishes. And it can be very costly, time consuming, and emotionally draining for the whole family. So we want to avoid that. We want to provide education on what might be appropriate for you and your family, whether that be a will, a revocable living trust, or some other type of plan. It's especially important to consider alternatives because a will won't protect perhaps a disabled child. If a disabled child inherits money under a will, they are at risk for losing any public benefits they have through SSI, Medicaid, and Medi-Cal. That could be devastating to a family. Or maybe you have a child with some addiction issues, those devastating habits that can certainly wreak havoc with any inheritance that you might plan to leave them. That's where we need to have the conversation, learn more about you and your family, and we'll provide some education on a solution that might be the best fit for your unique circumstances, because a will may not be enough. I invite you to send me a direct message if you have any questions, because we're here at the law firm of Gina Litiguria to provide your family a peace of mind.